Ladies and gentlemen, back with my face on the video and ladies and gentlemen, finally I've almost, almost sorted out all my uh, traveling and of course the whole uh, relocation thing. So back with uh, this episode wherein we have some, some really good news for you guys. So stay tuned for that and of course uh, the fans who are really arted out, you guys are really... Uh, I have some news about that as well, so stay tuned for that. And of course, Arted us pre-match press conference for the Norwich game. And uh, I just read a stat somewhere that if, if Arsenal lose the next game against Norwich City, this is the first time that they're going to lose first four consecutive games of the start of a season since 1932-1933. And that is an amazing, amazingly, really worst, one of the worst kind of statistics that <clears throat> one could have. But more importantly, what can Arteta be, you know, promising? There has to be something promising that has come on his, um, uh, you know, on his desk, so that he has the confidence to play against Norwich City. So this is the uh, update about the whole injury uh, that is actually uh, officially on the Arsenal's website. So Mohamed Elneny, left hamstring has suffered. He's aiming to be back in full training in two to three weeks. So no more Elneny, no Xhaka. It's going to be Sambi and Partey. I, I hope so. Uh, Gabriel Magalas, right knee. Gabriel is now back in full training and available for selection. Enketia, uh, back in full training and available for selection. Thomas Partey is available for selection. It's no brainer. And same is for Ben White, who's also available for selection. But more importantly, Jaka is serving the first of three match suspension. The guy's got three match. Three match suspension. Oh my god. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I, I don't want to say anything. I'll just let this pass as it should be. Moving on. So we have some update about uh, Takahiro Tomiyasu. A couple of updates. First is uh, from his former assistant, from the assistant, former assistant manager at STVV, one of the former clubs of Takahiro Tomiyasu. He says that Isamichara is his name. He says that there was a wall at the training ground. You could kick a ball against. We gave Tomiyasu that feedback that his straight and forward passing had to be better, harder, more accurate. Before an every training session from that point, he was at the wall kicking, kicking, kicking for like half an hour at a time. We could see him doing it from where we, we were sat at our desks. We opened the door and said, Tommy, it's enough. We've had two sessions already and you're still kicking, kicking the wall. Come inside. But the next day it was the same, the same, the same. It shows the conviction and the will he has to better himself. So Takehiro Tomiyasu Arsenal have been tracking him for quite a, quite some time now. And could he be the uh, latest sign that we would see against Norwich City? Well, here's an update about that from Arteta himself. He says, we need a work permit first. The club is working hard to try and achieve that in the couple of hours. So he may or may not play against Norwich City. But more importantly, his work permit is the main issue. But here we go, Arteta on Emil Smith-Rowe's injury. He says he's carrying an illness. He's not been feeling good. Um, let's see how he is in the next couple of days. So Emil Smith-Rowe might also not feature against Norwich City. We have to wait and watch how exactly is that going to pan out. But more importantly, it was not just about Takahiro and Emil that uh, Mikel Arteta had his uh, words. He's, uh, he was asked if... Norwich City game is a must win for him or not, Arteta said. It is always at Arsenal. Pressure is always there to be as high as possible in the table. We need a win. We are going to play in front of our fans. So it's down to us to provide everything we have performance-wise to earn the result we want. And talking about Hector Ballerin with a straight face, Mikel Arteta says, he's an exceptional player and an incredible person. He'll be missed. To find someone like Hector is not easy. He's been raised here with us and is loved by everybody at the football club. I had to say goodbye with sadness, but at the same time, I had to understand his position. He needed a new challenge. He's been needing a new challenge for a while. So after discussing for a long time, we decided to let him go. We decided it was the right thing for him. And talking about the whole season, Arteta says that we know how difficult the start was with injuries and the whole virus issues we had. We have to reset now. We need to get everybody back on track and start to win football games, which is what we have to do. And is, that's not the only thing that Mikel Arteta actually spoke about. He also opened up about Ainsley Maitland-Niles planning to stay and not, uh, you know, uh, uh, attempt to make a move away from Arsenal, although he tried a lot. So Maitland-Niles says, I'm happy that he has stayed. 
It was our intention and he's another player in the squad. He knows that he has a unique quality in any squad and which is his versatility uh, to play in different positions. So he's a utility man. And utility men like Ainsley don't get good amount of game time. Like not, not enough to uh, represent your country in a World Cup, so no. Moving on, so talking about Granit Xhaka, well, he says he's doing well, he's still in his country, he needs to stay there until Saturday, I believe. As soon as he's okay to travel, he'll be here with us. But even if he is here with us, like, what value is he going to add? I mean, three-game ban, can't play any game because, of course, if we would have played in Europe, voila, we're not in Europe. Yeah? And Matt Tessier has actually opened up about the problems inside the dressing room of Arsenal. He's hearing certain things. Now, Matt Tessier has told to Where's Jeff podcast that he's heard from a source at Arsenal that the problem at the Emirates Stadium is not Mikel Arteta. Now, is he being a scapegoat? Well, Letizia claims that he has been told that there's a great amount of disharmony within the group at Arsenal. And he said that, I can tell you from a contact inside the Arsenal camp, at Arsenal, the problem is not with the manager. The problem is all in the changing room from what I'm hearing. There is a lot of disharmony in the changing room and that's something which is very difficult for a manager. Even though it might be the player's fault, we always know what happens when things go wrong. And it's always a manager who carries the, carries the can. Well, it's a, I don't know, Martin Tessier, why is he saying those kind of stuffs? But it is what it is, isn't it? Very well. So Mikel Arteta says, I'm really looking forward to having everybody available and to try and start the season the way we want. We don't want to use any excuses. We have to reset now and get everybody back on track and start winning games. And more importantly, uh, Mikel Arteta on Mourinho telling Xhaka to get vaccinated on Instagram, get the jab, granite, stay safe, something is what, this is what, exactly what Mourinho has uh, said. So Mikel Arteta has reacted to it. He says, we are trying to explain all the reasons why we believe it's the right thing to do. But at the end, it's a personal matter. It's not an obligation and we have to respect that. And that's... That is kind of a problem, isn't it? It is kind of a problem. Like, when it's all subjective, like when it's all that people have to do it on their, on their own, that's where the problem arises. Well, more importantly, uh, Jack Wilshire has been given a one-way ticket to the Arsenal training grounds. It looks like the door is open for him. According to Mikel Arteta, his former teammate, he does not have any clubs so that he can train. He's actually currently, last time he was seen a, 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 a Serie B or a Serie C team, uh, he was training with them. So it looks like uh, he was asked actually, Mikel Arteta, on if there is a chance for Jack Wilshire to train with Arsenal. He says, someone that I know that I shared a dressing room with and is so loved by everyone here, our doors, our doors are always open. So the doors are always open, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope I hope Jack Wilshire uh, has seen that so it is pretty much clear that the door is open and let's see how things will turn out to be uh, moving on so it has been clear um, um, Simon Stone says that Arsene Wenger says if you don't play big competitions you will play small competitions don't think we won't play I am 100% convinced it is the right solution which is Wenger's proposal is one or maximum two international breaks October and maybe March per season with tournament in June so that's what the idea is it's a very strange idea not many people are liking it but okay whatever and not only that well as I already mentioned what uh, uh, Charles, Charles Watts has, uh, has provided an update about Tomiyasu so Charles Watts says Arsenal are confident of getting the work permit they need which would allow Tomiyasu to be involved this weekend they had to wait for him to be in the country before starting the process, which is now almost complete. So good news, Norwich City, Arsenal fans, uh, you can see Takehiro Tomiyasu play against Norwich City because his work permit is almost done. So it's going to be great to see if he's, see, I, I definitely want to see all the new signings play together. It may not be that easy because even if he's coming in, I'm pretty much sure the training, uh, I mean, he's not, he would not have had a lot of training uh, with the main, uh, with, the, with, the, with the team. So I don't know, I don't know if he's going to get uh, any game time or if he is going to get, uh, is he going to be a substitute? I don't know exactly how things will pan out, but more importantly, right now, how it looks like, it's pretty much clear, Takahiro, his work permit is not an issue for him to not be involved against Norwich City. But more importantly, 
Is it, the, is it the team chemistry that will cost him his place? Let's see what happens. Let me know in the comments. Are you excited to see Takahiro Tomiyasu start against Norwich City this weekend? Let me know in the comments. Yes, I read the comments. And yes, if I like, I'll definitely react to it or rather comment. Yeah? Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. And until then.